Okay, so now let's check out question number nine. How do you calculate the mole fraction of solute? So I'm going to denote that the mole fraction can be represented by x. And then I'll just put subscript solute. So basically the mole fraction can be defined as the number of moles of solute in a given solution. So let's just write out an expression for this. The, num the molar fraction of solute can be calculated by doing the moles of solute divided by like the total number of moles in the solution. So let's see what our junior tutor said. So one measurement that is used to describe the number of moles of a solute in a given solution is called the mole fraction. Mole fraction of the solute, x, in a given solution can be calculated by dividing the moles of the solute on the total moles of the solution. So the sum of the moles of the solute plus solvent. This can be represented in the equation as moles of solute divided by the moles of solute plus the moles of solvent. Depending on the problem given, you may have to calculate first for the number of moles of the solute and the solvent when only the mass of the said element is given. So here they just have an example where you just need to calculate the number of moles first. So just to simplify it, number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. So if a question gives you just the masses of the solute and the solvent, then you just need to calculate the number of moles first, and then you can plug it into your mole fraction equation. This solution is correct. Okay, so let's...